Today's video is about creating a remote control for the superhero. The superhero knows a lot about technology and has a variety of gadgets to help her stop crime. Because of this, I wanted my remote to be something to help her secret identity stay hidden. How could I create a gadget to allow our extraordinaire to be in two places at once? Disguised as a whiteboard eraser, this gadget sends out tweets remotely at the press of a button. This will allow our extraordinaire to appear to be out and about looking for crime when she's actually dressed as her alter ego working. The auto-tweeter is designed to fit in the superhero's everyday life and can speak Conspicuous, multi-purpose, and suiting our extraordinaire's colour preferences. Here's how I made it. I started by making a basic cuboid out of cardboard to house the little bit circuit, making sure it all fit in neatly and easily. I marked out and cut holes for the button and power switch. It was important to cut these holes as accurately as possible, otherwise the remote may not be easy to use. When working with electronics, it's important that they can't move around too much. I added extra wall thickness around the battery to protect it while making sure I could still remove it. I added support underneath the button bit to make sure it wouldn't move when our extraordinaire pressed it. I rolled up a strip of cardboard and taped it together under the power bit to make sure that the switch to turn the circuit on and off was kept at the same height. I added a strip of cardboard over the feet of the power bit for extra security. After registering my cloud bit, I followed the links to the If This Then That website. I began creating a new applet. For the first part, I selected little bits and chose my cloud bit turning on. This is the trigger for the next event to send a tweet. I connected to PowerGirl's Twitter account, wrote an appropriate tweet and clicked finish. I covered the outside of the gadget in a smooth layer of masking tape before painting it black and leaving it to dry overnight. I created and printed out a design to be glued onto the front of the auto tweeter to help disguise the button. I cut out a hole for the button to show through and then stuck the design on, taking care to keep the pattern smooth and flat. Finally, I cut away the excess paper. I glued a piece of felt to a rectangle of cardboard to make the eraser part of my project. I used velcro to attach this to the base and hide all the little bits inside. Using velcro means that should the battery run out or I want to reprogram my cloud bit for a different project, I can always access any of the little bits. If this video inspired you, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to make this at home, links to the instructions and the Extraordinaire's Design Studio are in the description below. Thanks for watching.